Last week, a man with zero experience of women's football, close to zero experience of managing a team of any gender, who had expressed no interest in the job and had to be asked to apply for it, was chosen to manage England's women football team. Phil Neville graced the appointment by explaining away tweets about domestic violence and sexism and then joked he'd scored the second best job in football. This one appointment says so much. I look forward to the day such an inexperienced woman is appointed to such oh, a on. senior job in sport or any sector. And if you thought the gender pay gap at the BBC was bad, it's nothing compared to prize money in sport. Winners of the Women's FA Cup get £25,000. Their male counterparts earn £1.8 For those who claim men's games involve more physical exertion, and I will come back to that, consider darts. The male winner of the BDO World Championship gets a hundred grand. The female equivalent gets 12 grand. It's the kind of blatant, grotesque discrimination I hope we will one day use as evidence of a bygone era. How can anyone, Carol, ever defend this madness? Okay, right, I'm going to jump straight in with the pay thing, all right? I'm going to jump straight in there, all right? I've, I've got loads of... I, I, I could do this whole piece by myself. I'm, 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 I'm going to bounce in on the pay thing, right? Right, okay. Okay, right. So, assume that a sport's just a job, all right? Just a normal job, a run-of-the-mill job, and we're all doing the job here, all right? And assume we're all getting paid the same, okay? And you're doing... How many shows are you doing this one? Four shows? And I'm doing two. Would you be happy if they paid, if they paid me the same as you? No, but if no, we you wouldn't. Right, 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 right. Let me see. Let me see. No, 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 no. This is the point. Okay. So, <laughs> so, a geezer's playing tennis, all right? And a woman's playing tennis. She only has to play three sets to get through. He's got to play five. He's like, ah, tell yeah, you what, I'm getting the puff here. Do you know what I mean? All right? He's getting the puff here. Have you ever seen Serena Williams playing tennis? Because it doesn't look like that. Well, whatever. But anyway, so he's playing five sets. He's going, I'll tell you what, I'm working I'm working here. And she's only doing three. That's not very fair, is it? So, and they want to be, and they want the same. It strikes me. What is less exactly? Exertion in women's mm. football. I don't women's think it, I don't, can I ask you a question? Yes, I say I don't think it's about exertion, though. So it, what is well, that's these, what these like. prizes that you mentioned? I'm arguing time. How much they've got they to do? These set. prizes got the work that you mark. mentioned, I, I suspect and probably know that they are market driven. Yes. And yes. so male football, and it's there's no, I don't think there's even any point disputing this, has a marketplace at, that far exceeds female football for whatever reason, yeah. largely because women don't tend to watch the sport as well, right? So, you know, as well as the fact that men aren't watching female football, the fact is that women aren't generally, by and large, the football fans. And so no you, when you've got a market... So not no, but the thing is, that, no, no, but there are now fo female football teams, but they're still not watching it, right? No so when you've got a market like that, of course, if it is market driven, if you don't want a command economy, if you don't want to dictate what each sport can do with the money that it raises, because that's what we're coming down to at the end of the day, you will bankrupt female football if they have to put the prize money at the same as men because they, they it's a business and they set their own prize money based on their market and the ticket no, sales. Can, 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 can I, can I, 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 I want to ask you the question I was going to ask you before. Mm. Have you ever been to a women's football match? I haven't ever been to a men's football okay, match. So there, not but, a great but, but there, but therein lies the problem. But that's not what she because, asked you. Because well, I haven't been to. You either. haven't. Okay. So, yeah. so uh, as we were just saying, revenue and sponsors dictate prize money. When, when there's a, a Premier League football match, the crowd is between fifty and seventy thousand. That dictates how much people get I paid. I understand. No, hang on. Let argument. me finish the point. And when there's a, one of the best women's teams play, the the average crowd is about five hundred. The bottom line is sponsors are not going to pay for a sport that not that many people are watching. Now, when you have something like women's football, and you've used the example, you have, you, you have men watching men's football, you have a few men who would watch a women's football match, you have very few women that are going to watch women's football matches. Now, this is not denigrating what they do, they're very good, but it's a different game. And it, what you've got is a mainstream sport v a minority sport. And it's not about equality. Women are never going to be equal on the football okay, field. Yeah. They're just okay. not. Okay, you know what, they're especially not going to be equal if it's treated as such a second class. Well, they can't play yeah. in the same can we, way. Can we, can, we, we can we talk about darts, please? Are, are we ready? Yeah. Can we talk about darts? And I say this for a reason, and I'm dying uh, to hear what you reason? have to say. Yes, of course. But, but I want to talk about darts because um, the difference in darts is really quite extreme. Right. And I don't think anyone could argue that uh, it's based on different levels of skill and talent. And I want it to is. show you, I want okay. to show you something. Okay. I want to show you something to prove the point. Okay. Okay. 
Right, first up in our inaugural Battle of the Sexes, it's Phil, the crafty commando champion. Happy with that? Ready? Come on, Phil. Yeah, I'll, Phil. I'll, I can take that. I can take Come that. on. Get him up there. 18. One. And another one. Phil scores 20. That'll show you how it's done, Phil. Oh, get in there. You ready? That's an eight. That's a 20. And that's a treble 20. Afua scores 88. That is quite a lot more than Phil got. And Afua is the winner. Yes! <laughs> awesome. No. With my newfound really passion for women's okay. dance, I am now going to join the campaign for but equal it, prize money. But the thing, but but the thing the is with women's dance, women it's can amount. join the, the men's dance teams, they can, but one has never qualified for the championship because they're not good enough. You, on that, yeah. you should have <laughs> been I did not flip. Terrible. I did not flip. I did tell you that that's what is right. In, to some degree, what? because taken on broad, if you look at it in its purity, yes, it's wholly unjust. And I do struggle to see quite how Mr. I hope he does fantastic things with the team. I hope they win the, their respective World Cup. It, it was a strange appointment, I grant you that. But where the reality is, where Majid comes in, which is that market, sorry to be crude, it is it's bums on seats. Is, and if yeah. you're going to get billions of people watching the men's FA Cup final, whatever, literally, or they used to around the world, it might have been slightly down. But certainly the Premier League is, I think, the second biggest league in the whole of the world, if not the biggest. The same cannot be said. And that is what drives it. So in pure forms, you're right. In market forces, I'm afraid um, the commercial... I, think, I want to pick this up with you, Nick, because you seem to be reasonable right, about this. I think it's a vicious cycle. I, think, I know. I'm not, I'm, this is a day of unusual victories. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a vicious cycle. I'm sure you can see that because it's the, the women's game is not taken seriously. They're not given a, a coach who has experience. So, the money is not put into but, the marketing, but you're not and, and then and then you don't get bums on seats, and then you don't. But you know, but this, this, this is the this is the, the worst enemy of the women's sport. If you if you were to apply this, because as Nick's just reminded everyone, I was right, <laughs> and that is that you will bankrupt a women's yeah. sport if you demand no equality in the prize money. Yeah. You know, and here we, we have an example of their most vocal champion ever on TV is admitting she's never even been to a female football game. Yes. And that, yeah. therein the lies... Are we going to get in good trouble? trouble. There, 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 it, there are lies the, loads of amazing women in, But I do want to say, that the, I, I do want to say, just in your defence, that Phil Neville's appointment does seem a bit weird. No, yeah. it doesn't. No, it, it doesn't. doesn't. Wait, hold there on, hold on. No, but there were a whole other stage. I want to hear why It does seem a bit weird, because actually, that wasn't about the market. He doesn't seem to be a, no. even a very good male coach, right? Okay. So, <laughs> right? So, let me say, there so, were 147 yeah. people who applied for that job. Now, one of the biggest female football writers in the country, whose name I've just forgotten completely, she said yeah. that, that a lot of good women coaches didn't apply for the job and the ones that did dropped out halfway through the process. So if women don't want to manage the yeah. football team, you can't blame well, we them have for an exclusive, appointing a club. Well, we have an exclusive with the co-author of the first ever women's football uh, yearbook who oh. has explained to us some of the factors that are at play here. This is Tom Gary. In terms of the number of girls playing the game and in terms of the technical ability at the top level, the women's game in England has never really been in a healthy estate. But unfortunately, the finances are still really, really struggling. There's not very much sponsorship. There's little to no television broadcast revenue. And because of those things, salaries, even in the women's top flight, are still pretty low. Some players still only earning around £18,000 a year. And uh, there's not very many female referees either or female coaches. So those are the challenges uh, for the English women's game to really c try and correct over the next few years. That was Tom Gary. Now, clearly a fan of female football, yeah. somebody who's actually doing something about it. But here you heard him explain some real practical mm. obstacles but in the way. And it's about the market. Doesn't that sound cyclical? It's like they're not getting broadcast and then they're not getting sponsors and then they don't have any money to pay the players. And so it remains this kind of second game. But it's game. hard to broadcast and, and a match where there's only 500 spectators. Yeah, but I've just, yeah. Those are part of the reasons why there are so few spectators, Carol, because no. I, you know, I think that the demand is there. And actually, if you look at how extreme this is, right, let's look at the Women's Super League. It's not played in the, the same win, way. The winners of the Women's Super League get right. nothing. I'll make a deal Zero. with you. I'll tell you what, I'll make the a deal. Let's go to a female football well, match and spectate million. together. She wouldn't go. She wouldn't want to go. And that's part of the point. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, 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 you haven't been. I'd love to. Right. I'm one of I want to play him at darts. I'm going to wrestle it away here. I'm going to say, I could have played for England, but I was rubbish. So I never earned a penny out of the game, and I'm bitter and twisted about that. I really am.